Hello out there and welcome to English YouTube Plays. We're here with Boat Simulator, which is a new game. It's on Steam and and we're gonna play. Hold up. All right, so circuit one, I suppose. Okay. So we're driving the boat, right? And now, now we played a different uh, game that was like this the other day. Oh, geez, love those controls. Right, so. But we're lost now, right? I actually don't know. I actually don't know where I'm going. There we go. All right. Oh, we missed it. All right. So, yeah, there must be a Unity asset pack or something where uh, it's just about boats because it's just, it can't be a coincidence that um, this is the, you know, the second boat game that I've seen. And it's not even the, it's not even the only boat game that I've seen. It's just the second one we, that we've played. I can tell you that driving this thing feels terrible. I mean, I get what they're going for. You know, like... The, the throttle works like a boat throttle and that it, you don't, yeah. But yeah, it handles absolutely terribly. And now we've got to circle all the way back around. This is, uh, this is a great time. I tell you what, I'm having a great time here. Uh. We're nearly to the end, I think. Right. So we are simulating being in a book. A book in a boat. And now it kicks us back to the main menu. Fantastic. I guess let's try the pirate ship. Uh, let's go. Let's do that. We're gonna sail a pirate ship. Right. And there's, so we can, there's two views. You can have no, so we're not allowed to look at the side of the ship. That's illegal. And it handles exactly the same as the, um, as the speedboat. Fantastic. And we've got a, a horn. And we've got some lights, I guess. I don't know. Right. I, d I don't know, man. I guess we're going to sail. I Maybe I'll fast forward. Right, so uh, I was going to fast forward all the way to the end, but the music came back. 
so I don't like while this music was suitable for driving the little uh, the little ship around it, it makes no sense with the pirate ship like at all it's like they've got this one track and it just loops you know and that's the only track you can listen to we can do this it's terrible sorry if that made you seasick i apologize at least the experience feels authentic now i'll go back to fast forwarding, man because this is just interminable and there's nothing to even look at on the ocean i can't you can't turn the view or anything this is the only way that you can look differently so all right we're still sailing so it keeps going while you're which means you can control it oh look at it yeah Absolutely love how the trees aren't even on the ground. Oh, we hit, we hit the uh, we hit the ground. Love it. We ran aground and just kept going. And the trees are just floating everywhere. It's great. It shows a real sort of dedication to uh, making a good game. Absolutely love it. All right, so we're we've made it to whatever this place is. And it's like a city or something, and we're gonna pull into the port. There's other pirate ships here as well. Oh, the music's back, of course. Into the dock. Love it. It's got a big horn. With the lights going. Great.
We're, uh, we're on our way in an aircraft carrier. Sure. I guess the problem is, while all these boats are very cool, they all handle exactly the same. They go about the same speed. Um, the pirate ship was much slower than these ones, but... Um, and... Other than the look of them, there's nothing more to the game. I mean, the game is called Boat Simulator, and that's fine. It is simulating boats, but, like, there's just nothing extra in it. Here's our other camera view. I mean, at the very least, let us look at the rest of the boat. You know? Like... Anyways, it's just, uh... It is what it is. Let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. Alright, Boat Simulator. An adventure on the high seas like you've never seen before with realistic graphics and sounds. Experience the sensation of sailing the entire ocean through the most mythical ships. Um, okay. Uh, developed by Best Ride Simulators and published by Lunaria Games SL. It currently costs $14.75, so I would say that that's wildly overpriced for what is not much of a game? Like... You can drive the boats. They all handle exactly the same. The uh, There's nothing to look at. There's no weather events. There's no point. There's no... I mean, look, if there was a game that was like... I don't know, container ship simulator or whatever, right? And you had a container ship and the point was to like load the container ship and take it and sell it. And it was like a trading kind of game, I'd be down for it. Or if it was a cruise ship simulator, man, I would play the crap out of that. You know, like, uh, Cruise Ship Tycoon would be really, really fun, I think. Um, but what we've got here is not interesting. Um, the only thing that they've got going for them is these big models of these ships, and the ships basically handle exactly the same no matter what they look like. Um, and so there's nothing to grab onto? Yeah, especially for $14.75. So, experience the sensation of sailing the most impressive ships across the ocean, cross the seas, and complete missions to feel what it's like to be on the high seas. Enjoy high quality graphics and realistic scenarios, navigating in cruise ships, pirate ship, lifeboat, jet skis, aircraft carriers, and much more. If you like realistic games where to live and experience of another level, this is your game. Enjoy the action and speed and boat simulator. Realistic graphics and sounds. Choose from more than 10 boats. Atmospheric weather changes. I mean, I didn't notice any atmospheric weather changes. Accomplish missions and sail the open sea without limits. Enjoy the voyage in an open world. Yeah, the world is empty. Uh, people mistake mistakenly use the term open world to mean big empty world. Um, saying that people can go any which way they want is not a selling point if there's nothing to look at. Um, and lots of games fall into that um, into that trap. And I mean, the reverse of that trap is games where there's too much going on. Um, and, you know, it's like, you know, they're like, oh, you found this, uh, feather and you have to go look for this, uh, all the other feathers in all the places. You know, the, the Ubisoft problem, the Ubisoft open world where it's all richly detailed and full of, um, interesting characters, but the quests are all just collectathons. Yeah. Se several cinematic cameras. Several. There are two. I wouldn't call that several, but whatever. Avoid obstacles and test the circuits. Try from vent vintage ships to the most current ones. Discover our boats, container ship, zodiac, lifeboat, sailboat, pirate ship, yacht, cruise, aircraft carrier, jet ski, fishing boat, and speedboat. Enjoy the trip, experience the journey, and explore the vast sea that lies before you. Accomplish your mission, improve your, sh your sailing skills, endless adventures await you. Are you ready for this adventure on the high seas? There's no adventure! There's no adventure! Stop saying there's an adventure. It's the same, it's the same adventure that like, you know, you might get from playing in the playpen at McDonald's. That's the adventure, you know, it's like, yes, it wasted some of my time and some of the stuff looked cool. Like, you know, when you look out of the little bubble thing and you say, I'm in an alien spaceship or whatever. Um, and then the effect wears off, you go, can I have an ice cream? And then you get one. Um, this one doesn't even have an ice cream to get me. It's just the ships. And, you know, the same dum 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 um, song over and over and over again. Let's look at best ride simulators. So they've got uh, boat simulator, train ride simulator, where I'm going to go ahead and assume that you ride trains, which came out in June of this year. And February 2020, they made a game called Theme Park Simulator Roller Coaster Paradise. Right. I feel like I played this. 
Do I have a review of this? It was recommended by a friend of mine. Oh, I did play this. Here we go. Um, it does nothing more than that. The gameplay amounts to the riding riding the ride section of Roller Coaster Tycoon games for $22. It should be doing much more considering you can get and play Roller Co Coaster Tycoon for about half that. And that's the most helpful review. I'm very helpful. So, yeah. I mean, I'm super useful. And it looks like they haven't really changed their design style. Uh, they have lowered the price, I guess. So, there's that. But, I guess Best Ride Simulators is still just doing the same stuff. So, I'm going to leave it there. That's Boat Simulator. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry that they haven't been coming as fast as they normally do. I have been very busy writing uh, the sequel to, my, to uh, a book. Um, and I have a limited amount of time of leave to do it. And so, that's where I've been spending most of my time not making videos, but writing books. So, I have creative pursuits in process. Uh, and that's what's been going on. But if you are interested in my writing, I do have a published book, and you can click on the link down in the description to check it out. It's called Transhuman Evolution. It's very fun and violent and full of interesting characters, and, uh, you know, I'd love some feedback, and if you, if you do buy it and you like it or don't like it, uh, leave me a review and all that kind of stuff, because... Uh, while I am a game reviewer, I'm also a creator of things, and I would take any feedback definitely, um, you know, it, as uh, useful, because that's what I hope that people take my feedback as. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Class dismissed.